No, Dad. I can't marry that evil mafia. I know you will only make my life miserable. But we can't do anything. If I don't marry you to him, maybe that mafia will kill me. Why did you owe him so much money, Dad? Don't blame me. Remember, you are the one who spent that money at the casino. So you must help me. But I thought it's not your own money. I can't marry him over in my dead body. He hate me that much. I hate him too. But honey, he agreed to marry you. Yes, because I'm sure he's planning something. She was in panic as she walks back and forth while biting his nails until she remembered her twin sister who was in the province. Dad, what if YM marries Jungkook instead of me? Why didn't I think of that? Let's go to her. Boss, are you sure you will marry Mr. Nam's daughter? But that's not kind of girl you want. Don't worry, Doro. I just make her a slave, and if I got bored, then throw her away. She need to serve me to pay off her dad's debt, and for fooling me. You're sitting on the edge of the sea deck, watching the sunset. You are now YM. You have an identical twin named Brenda, but since you are 14 years old, your father kept you away from her. You live with your aunt in the province, while your father and your sister live in the city. They hate you so much. Every time they saw you, they remember your mom's death since your mom died instead of you. She saved you. Since then, they left you with your aunt eight years ago. They never visit you or even call you. You want to see them but you're afraid they only got more angry at you. YN! You look back after hearing the voice of your aunt. Your mom's sister. Yes, Auntie Jane? You have a visitors. Who? I didn't expect someone. Your dad and sister. Your jaw drop and start crying. Because finally, you can see them. You thought they already forgot you. You immediately stood up and ran going to them. Your aunt is a caretaker of the resort and she lives here. You as well. You are good at housework since you help her in keeping the resort clean and taking care of the guests. The moment you saw them, you couldn't stop crying and had them. Abba, Uni, I missed you. You said and hugged them tightly, but you didn't hear an answer from them. You just felt someone tapping your back, but you didn't know who it was. I can't breathe, Brenda said and broke the hug. I'm sorry, Uni. Are you here to pick up YN? I thought you had abandoned her forever. It's good you still remember her. I'm sorry if we only had visa today. Yes, we're here to pick up YM. Really? But how about you, Auntie? Why are you worried about me? This is your wish to see and be with them. You can visit me anytime. Thank you, Auntie. As you run to your room and pack your things, the happiness you felt is measurable because being with them is your biggest dream. Since they took you to the province, they treated you nicely. But after a few days, you were surprised when they told you that you need to pretend as your sister and marry the Mafia King. And they also told you that your husband should not know that you are not Brenda. At first, you don't want to do it. Of course, how can you marry someone you don't love? But you agree in the end after Brenda said that they will send you back to the province if you don't agree. You know, 
what you are doing is stupidity. But what will you do if that is the only way for you to stay by their sides and see them? What will you do if that is the only way for them to like you and consider you as part of the family? The whole month Brenda taught you to be here. You're not even allowed to leave the house when Brenda is out because no one knows that he took you from the province. And before the wedding, Brenda left the country. After you get dressed in your wedding gown, your dad approached you and whispered something. Remember, Jungkook shouldn't know that you are not Brenda. From now on, you are not YN anymore. You are Brenda, understand? You just look at your dad's eyes and nod. You get out of the bridal car and enter the charge, but you are surprised to see that it was empty, except for the one standing at the altar was staring at you eagerly. You know it was Jungkook since Brenda already showed you this picture. You suddenly felt frightened. The thought of what might have happened to you sent a shiver down your spine. Why do you look so surprised? Why? Do you think I will spend money just to marry you? You are not worried for that. Empty charge symbolize my empty heart. Get ready to live your life in hell. At that point, you know something is wrong. You ask yourself, did he not tell you something? Because he treated you differently than what your dad and Brenda told you about him. Jungkook gave you a marriage contract and ordered you to sign it, which you did. Which surprised him. Why you just follow him without hesitation? Why you don't fight him back like always what you did? After you signed the documents, he took it from your hand and gave it to Doro as he held your wrist and dragged you out of the charge. He knows you are struggling to walk because you're wearing a long wedding gown. But you are not complaining, you just silently follow him which made him piss off even more because Brenda weren't like that before. When you two arrive at his mansion, he continues dragging you until reach at maid's quarter and push you inside. From now on, you will sleep here and you will do their work. Remember, you are my wife only in paper. But I will not treat you as my wife. Teach her the housework. You just stand in the corner while looking down and say, That's not needed. I know how to do housework. He suddenly looked at you after hearing your voice. He tilted his head confused. Yes, he could hear Brenda's voice to you, but it was just a little bit soft. But he just ignored that and left the quarter. Jugo came down and immediately looking for you, but he didn't see you. Nani An? Don't tell me that woman's still sleeping. Ask him. Why are you angry at this early? Don't worry. She was awake a while ago. She already cleaned the whole house and she also cooked. How come? That girl didn't know anything. Then look around. It's all so clean. And the dish that she cooked is also delicious. And Chungkook started to be confused with you. Why are you acting different? Then curiosity hit him after hearing that you cook. He went to the kitchen and tasted the dish that you cooked. And he was surprised because it was definitely delicious, and the taste was his style. He returned to the living room again and asked his nanny since he was a child. Nanny An, where is that girl? In the garden. What? He hurriedly goes to his garden with a mixture of concern that you might just damage his favorite plants since he loves gardening. But he is surprised to see that you know what you are doing. What 
are you doing? After you see him standing in front of you while closing his arms, you quickly stand and greet him. Good morning, Sir June, as you smile at him. Sorry if I fixed the plants. There are so many dead leaves that needed to remove. And when did you become interested in plants? You didn't answer him, since you can tell him that you learned that by living in the province for 8 years. The next day, Jigok was going down the stairs when he heard laughter coming from the kitchen. As he saw you laughing while talking to his nanny and to the other maids, Jungkook was dumbfounded while staring at you from the distance because those smiles of yours are really familiar to him. And now, he's starting to doubt your personality. All he knows, Brenda is cruel to the maids. She also doesn't talk to the people not on her same level, especially with the maids. Jungkook is even more confused as if he is putting together a puzzle. Jungkook just finished taking a shower and currently busy wiping his hair with a towel until he saw you cleaning the swimming pool from his room. He came to the balcony and watching you secretly when Doro came. Boss, you call me? He immediately told him not to be noisy. Doro, did you notice anything about that woman? He whispers. Boss, it looks like she's not Brenda. His eyes widen and look at Doro. You also noticed that? His heart suddenly beat so fast as he started biting his fist while he couldn't take his eyes on you. No, this can't be, he mumbled. I need to find out who are you. He went downstairs and goes to the swimming pool area where you are cleaning. Jungkook walked closer to you and called you, Brenda? But this time, you forgot that you are pretending to be Brenda, so you didn't answer. When Jungkook suddenly pushed you into the water, you try to swim so you don't get caught. Because the truth is, you don't know how to swim, while Brenda is a swimmer. When Jungkook saw you swimming, he just turned around thinking you are already Brenda and was about to leave. But later on, he noticed that the water suddenly became quiet. He looked back and saw you sinking into the water. Shit! He said and dived on the pool. He immediately picked you up and lifted you from the water. At that point, Doro also came to help. He saw the whole incident from the balcony. Jungkook reached you to Doro and they saw you coughing non-stop while throwing up the water you drank. Jungkook removed his shirt and immediately wrapped it around your body as he carried you. I'm okay, Sir Jun. I can walk by my own. But he didn't answer. He just continued to walk while carrying you and went to his room. He put you down the moment you enter the room. Sir, I need to go back to the maid's quarter, you said, and about to leave. But he pulled you back and pinned you in the door. Who are you? S sir? For God's sake, tell me who are you? I, I wish not. But I also hope it's you. Don't tell me. You are YN. Your eyes widen because he already discovered the truth. You just bite your lips and look down. You don't know what to say. If you tell him the truth, your dad and Brenda might get mad at you. Jingo killed your chin and left it up to have eye contact with him. 
your way in, right? I know you are here. Please, tell me. This time, you know that even if you deny that you are YN, Jungkook won't believe you anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you recognize me. As you look at his eyes. His tears slowly dripping as he starts punching the door over and over again. Because the girl he's been looking for for a long time is the girl he made us leave. You and Jungkook are childhood friends. At the age of 14, Jungkook told you that he likes you. He said he will ask your answer when he comes back since he needs to study abroad. After six years, he came back. But at that time, he wasn't there at your house anymore since your dad already brought you to the province. Even before, Brenda likes him. So she grabs the opportunity and pretend to be you. They became couple thinking it was you. But later on, Jungkook found out that you are not that girl because you have different attitude and behavior. That's why Jungkook is very angry with Brenda and he wants to revenge on her for fooling him. Stop punching the door! Your hands are already bleeding! It means from the very beginning you recognize me? Mm. Then why you let me do that to you? 